A lot of people still entering that. All right, so welcome guys to another Age of Empires cast. With me, I have Dave and his burning kitchen. Now, he'll show up at some point and probably try and scare the crap out of me, so prepare yourselves. Uh, in the blue is Tato playing as the Burmese, and we have Berbers now for MBL. So, if you're on the live stream, I have bets ongoing. I'll give you four minutes. It is Arabia, and they're using the expansion civilizations, which is always amazing. I'll just introduce the players, and we'll hang out here tonight. So, thank you for being here, guys. Uh, what's up, Siv Sivad? Sivad Kaz, Sivad Kaz, what's up man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, in the red is MBL, and I will start with his map. Uh, seeing as it's Arabia, it's pretty open for him. It is not like last game where both players had very campy maps. You notice his main gold right away is on this hill. He can't TC this. He's probably going to have to double mining camp it because of the position. So that's going to be messy. But luckily for him, his barriers are on the back. If he gets strushed, he should be pretty safe. His stone is somewhat close by. He could wall with the cliffs later on here and secure himself his secondary gold. He has his third one up on the hill. Now, even this area, he can't town center later. If the gold was out here a little bit more, he could town center that. The MBL is going to have to build his second town centers here. Or here. Or here. And most of those options are just awful for him. I'll look at Tato's base now. At Tato has a flatter base it's much much more flat much more efficient for town centers as gold is a little bit closer to his town center and no hill so that's better his main stone is forward and secondary gold for him on the left next to this cliff and he has a stone in the back his third gold is somewhat forward and on the right hand side and tato could do a little bit of walling here too with this cliff if he so chooses. So, pretty cool civilizations. And, as I said last time, I'm really happy that we're seeing all these games with the new civs. Because I need to learn them as a caster. So I'm working on that. Uh, Aga, thank you for the 10 viewer host. Chat, let's get the salutes in there for them. Welcome, we're casting a game between Tato and MBL. Uh, Redditch, also, thank you for subscribing as well, man. Thank you for being here. So, what would you do in this situation t90 uh i have to talk to myself and ask myself these questions because dave's not here i am here oh actually. okay what, what would you do as tato with the burmese give me like, a second with his map. i just got back all right <laughs> okay back. well let me talk a little bit about the civ then uh burmese i'll show the tech tree for those that might not know free lumber camp upgrades infantry plus one attack per age monastery tech costs minus 50 percent uh, they do have the iron by which are very strong out of their castle i feel like aggressive strategies work well for this yes you can go man at arms with this civilization and get that extra attack right when you hit feudal age uh, man at arms towers would not be a bad idea but also we could see a drush and a fast castle and if tato has scouted that stone which he hasn't he could always go on that back stone or even on the forward one if it's protected and try and get to the Arambai later in this game. Do, do Arambai count as cavalry archers? Uh, do they get countered by camel archers? Yes, they do. The camel mm. archers are so much stronger in 1v1. Okay. And that's what MBL has available to him. And he knows uh, how good they are because he got just blasted by them last game. So we'll I, see. We'll see who's the better burr here. We got the Burmese. We got the the Berbers. Berbers. <laughs> yeah. The Battle of the Burrs. I can already see the thumbnail for this YouTube video in my head. The Battle of the Burrs, and then there's a guy standing in the cold, shivering, on the Burr. thumbnail image. <laughs> well, it's appropriate that you have a Canadian in, in here now, so... Yeah, that that's true. That's true. You yeah. guys are used to the Burrs. So, uh, I can see Tato doing the men-at-arms thing, like you said. Going on the stone... Getting up some forward towers, like he sees MBL's gold on that hill. He didn't see the lumber camp, unfortunately. No, no. But like, if he puts pressure like that, then maybe he goes into a castle later if he has extra stone and goes into Arambai to follow that yeah. up. I, I feel like 
with both of these civilizations, you could justify man at arms and towers because what happens is, let's say your tower rush fails, you just start building defensive towers and stay on stone, and Ooh, you now take that stone lumber. for the castle age. Now he yeah, sees he's... the lumber camp. He knows how important that one area is there. The problem with that lumber camp there now, though, is that if MBL sees his tower coming forward, he could conceivably get a, get a good counter tower on that hill. So... Yeah, that's true. The scouting is so important for both players. MBL is going to start walling. And MBL was complaining in the chat about the uh, the maps. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Tata said, blame the map always. Let's play full random then. And MBL says, no. <laughs> okay, kids, if you need gold, like, this is the only way that MBL can wall right now. But And he knows the weakness of walling like this. But I've seen a lot of people wall to their gold and then assume that it's going to be safe. If Tato comes forward with towers, that gold is so is as exposed as it was when it was open. Like, if you, if you get what I mean. Yeah, it doesn't protect the gold at all. He's just... I guess hoping that it'll protect his his lumberjacks. So I, MBL's going into archers, I think. Is, no, 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 no. Scouts or skirmishers. Uh, yeah, and I think MBL's scouting is so important here. If he sees villagers, he probably won't go for scouts. He might add an archery range instead so he can go skirms. But no, he's still going with stable. Okay. He's going to build a tower immediately because that's what Tato's he here knows. to do. He knows. And Tato has stopped his tower, and he's oh, probably going to tower that gold now. Good. That's really good for Tato, and that might have been a Jebate tower right there. Sometimes you see experts do that, where they, they lay a foundation and force their enemy who's not on stone to use up their, their starting stone to make a tower. Yep, and now MBL's out of luck if he wants to build another tower. We've been seeing a lot of outposts recently, Dave, so... A tato had he run forward and built an outpost it looks like it's going to be a tower and then the person forces the tower down fast and wastes their stone mbl has got a wall here or it'd send these lumberjacks away if there's anyone like that can wall themselves to victory it is mbl <laughs> he, he's gonna i guess use that tower to protect his villagers at the lumber camp and he's going to stone now tato's just gonna walk right in after walling up this tower and MBL will try and counter with his scouts, but it's not going to be easy for He's him to do that. He's attacking that wall on the hill, too. That is... That, oh. The wall's going to go down super fast. Nice quick wall. Yeah, yeah it's going to go down. MBL only has 100 stone and 3 villagers collecting stone. The rest of these villagers are just walling. And Tato going to get a tower down before MBL can. And the answer is yes to that. MBL does not have the stone. Okay, 128. Now he needs to force the tower down with all of Everyone these Everyone on the tower. Every <laughs> villager. He's going to have that down first, I think. Yeah, Tata will still get his up, so it'll be annoying. Uh, the other thing, Dave, is that the man-at-arms have the plus one attack, so they do have forging for free, so they're taking down walls that much faster. Hmm. Well, there go forging. the scouts, and look at Tato's base. The scouts have gone forward. And I've oh, killed I one that. villager on Tato's stone. Spears will come out soon for Tato, I imagine, and there it is. But uh, that's a great counter for MBL, Dave. Yep, and that's something that... Oh, look at what he's done to MBL's villagers, though. MBL tried to delete the lumber camp to get out, and Tato is <gasps> walling his villagers in. Oh my god, but Tato just lost a villager and the gate. I think MBL used the tower and the villagers to hit that gate and Tato tried again and now this tower is going to be battered villager. down. That actually worked out for MBL. That was crazy. Fantastic play by Tato originally, but great reaction from MBL. And now Tato only has three villagers forward. He doesn't have five anymore. He's lost two of them. Yeah, he's run out of momentum because he doesn't have the stone as the villagers had to run back to his TC, so no more towers for him. And he might just try and build up military at home now. MBL has a four villager lead and surprisingly seems to be okay for now, though he does need to push back as Tato is still going to try and camp his hill. He needs to secure that gold on the on the top side as well, because if Tato goes over and towers the wood line and the other gold, yeah. then MBL is like really out of options, especially with those man at arms wandering around. He's going to have to buy his way up to Castle Age, which is never great and maybe get some siege to get rid of that tower by his main gold well 
If you think back, scouting was important for MBL to see the forward coming so you can get the original tower up. Tato hasn't had the best luck with scouting. On the left side, he didn't see that gold next to MBL's house. So MBL could oh. use that. But he's gonna build a tower on his main gold as Tato has his army on the right. And I think Tato wants to tower this wood line. And MBL should spot that because he sees the outpost. And now he doesn't have the stone for a tower. And he has to continue to wall. This is a pretty interesting game. Very aggressive from Tato. I think he had to be aggressive though with the way his map set up. It was just, it was gross. He has to keep MBL away from the front of his base. Dave, five scouts for MBL in this stable. He's gonna set Out him out boy. now. Target the Vils. Oh, he can't. No, he can't target the Vils. Never mind. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Retreat. That's a dumb idea. I forgot about the men at arms. <laughs> the men at arms were hiding behind the house. But he's killed one archer and he's gonna try and get the next. He lowered that one. And now Tato has five, or sorry, MBL has five scouts that he can send over to Tato's base. But uh, MBL is attacked the archer range. I'm sure he'll figure it out. He's working on the tower right now, man. And Tato's still trying to get in here. I don't think that's gonna happen though. Look at this panic walling from MBL. <laughs> it's just nuts. Every game we see it from this guy. Yeah, he does it so often, but it works for him. And the five scouts are on the way to Tato's base. And Tato has four spearmen patrolling, though. Five, actually, if you count the one on the backwood line. So with no upgrades on the scouts, this is probably going to be fine for Tato. It depends on micro. But then again, fine for MBL at the moment on the economy front. Just threw up half a dozen farms and has a wood line and well doesn't have he's not using gold but he has access to one yep market coming down from mbl yep yep gonna buy his way up well it's a pretty close game mbl has more villagers I noticed Tato has been idling his town center. Okay, he's going to get wheelbarrow, but Tato doesn't have a lot of military to do anything now. And MBL is going to try and micro down each spear he finds. He's going to get a second one. Let's see how often. That's a pretty good trade. If nothing Perfect else, he's for. distracting Tato at his home base, which is... As long as Tato is nervous back there, that's, that's good for MBL because it takes the focus off the pressure on his main base. Or on his only base, right? Tato's going to build a tower behind MBL's wood line, which for now is the only one he can take. Actually, he can go back to the one. But Tato's towering there too, so Tato has two towers going up on the only accessible wood lines for MBL. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, and he's MBL's come back with the scouts now, but I'm not sure that's a great decision. I mean, I guess he's going to draw Tato's forces a bit off to the right side rather than pushing in but that those scouts aren't enough to take that fight they'd be better no. used i think at, at tato's base just harassing him I, I think now mbl's so heavy on stone and he's so close to castle i think now we're going to see the click up the castle mbl's going to try and survive with towers and then he'll try and go for his castle and go camel Ooh, archers. He's trying to get that tower down. Tato's there with the archers. MBL needs to garrison and well, drive well him away. I don't think Tato is going to let him get that tower down, though. Like, he's sitting out of range. Yep. And so MBL's adding another tower. He's using a lot of stone for towers. And Tato is also on the way to Castle Age. Tato has the map control. MBL has eight extra villagers. I would prefer to be in Tato's position, honestly. Because yeah, there's not MBL, a huge difference with the castle times. MBL's gonna have more stone though, so if he wants to drop a castle, if like if he d deletes that one tower foundation, he'll get a hundred more stone. Yeah. He'll be at like almost five hundred when he gets a castle age, I think, maybe six hundred. The thing is, he needs to stop these towers from happening because he doesn't have much of his other wood line either because he had to build a tower there. So while it'd be great to wait for a castle, I feel like he needs to force this. Uh, that was your micro ongoing. He will get Jeez. this up. It's just insane. Uh, a guy in the chat who's new, by the way, welcome Grass. He says, from what I've seen from the YouTube videos, tower rushes give me crippling depression. Same here, man. Same here. <laughs> uh, also... 
a Eddie, a Calster, and Aga, thank you for subscribing. The guy just hosted me, and now he's subscribing to me. Thank you for the support, man. You want to see MBL scouts all get dummied? A single villager can take out all three of those scouts. <laughs> but the question is, does Tato know that? Like Tato <laughs> might be scared. <laughs> he might think they're full Maybe HP MBL scout. will run in and snipe that one vill on the farm, the really weak one. Oh, Maybe yeah, he's gonna run in there and just sacrifice his scouts. Cause you know he'll check all those vills if he runs past them. I'd like to see him do that just cause you said that. Cause Dave Stradamus. Oh, Dave there's Stradamus. a spearman! There's a right. spearman at <laughs> I don't think I don't think that MBL really cares too much about that. Uh, back at home he's just trying to repair his tower to take out Tato's. Because now that Tato's in the castle age, Tato has Bod Canero which will give these towers additional range on both sides. And actually, Tato got in on the right side. I didn't notice that. And the castle on the front side, if you didn't notice that. <laughs> Whoa! You see Tato's <laughs> castle. <laughs> Don't distract me with the, with the scouts next time, Dave. <laughs> oh, man, great play from Tato. But MBL's also going for his own castle, but he has no space, man. This is ugly. Yeah, he really needs wood. And like, he could conceivably delete the wall on the left side, go out to that little oasis on the edge of the map. Maybe. Yeah. But like, he needs more than that. He just needs map position right now. He's so smothered in his little cage here. Well, Tato sees that that castle's going up for MBL. Uh, MBL also sees the tower for Tato. MBL has a few knights at the moment and he's gonna make camel archers. He actually has the Vill lead, which is incredible, because you can put almost this entire base on one screen. He needs to take that tower out behind his wood line. He's just lost a villager to it. And now Tato back at home is completely safe, and he's going to build a second town center. So great positioning for Tato, and maybe he'll catch up with the economy. <laughs> Dave. What? MBL going to the right. And I was talking about how bad his TC situation is. He can't even build a town center next to the gold. So he has to go for lumber camp. Is he going to put one up on that hill? Oh, no, oh, he's putting he... one. What? Look at where he's <laughs> putting his TC. <laughs> he has to. He can't TC Excuse wood. Excuse me? Oh, man. Tato is sending the Arambai to the right side. Uh, Camel archers for MBL arriving to defend from that. MBL... He always plays these base trade games. The other one I uploaded to YouTube already versus the Chinese guy. That was crazy. I don't think this one would be that crazy, but always MBL, man. So, MBL does have camel, camel archers. And the important thing about units, unique units in the Castle Age, is if MBL gets a great trade here, it kind of like snowballs, right? Because it takes so yeah. long to produce the units from the castles. So, like, if MBL gets a good trade, picks off a few air and buy, might have a shot here, but Tata with a great defensive castle there, that's a good position. He'll get that up. Yeah, he's gonna lose one villager. MBL's just gonna get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, look where MBL's been sending his villagers! And Tato finding five villagers with his air and buy. Oh, no. So Let's unfortunate. Make that six. Yeah, another one's on the way. And that will give the vill lead to Tato, I imagine. And Tato has so many town centers at home that the knights and the camel archers can't do anything. Tato's completely secure while MBL's base is stretched out. He's still dealing with that one tower. And I think that Tato will go for a, another forward castle at some point in this game because he's heavy on stone on the front. MBL's oh. still 300 stone away from... Oh, and he doesn't even notice the villagers getting picked off going over there. There's another chick standing there. Now he sees. I'd be so tilted if I saw those skeletons. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say all the all the dead bodies. He's, you know, MBL is probably like, oh, God, I didn't. <laughs> God, <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> well, uh, what's important for him is that Tato does not see his new TC, and I guess. The funny thing is, the TC's so forward that Tato would never think to scout there. Tato's never gonna find that, yeah. He does have- Tato does have monks, though, to get, to combat, um, MBL's army in the rear. I- I- Well, MBL's not gonna attack, so Tato won't lose any of those monks. And he actually yeah. got two conversions, so decent for him. Yeah. Basically two kills, plus some, because he gets his own unit to fight with. 
uh, micro is interesting between Tato and MBL's uh, Camel Archers and Arambai. But MBL's trying to camp the hill so he can get that gold, which is a good decision, I feel. Uh, Camel Archers should win in this engagement. It's 4 plus 2 range versus 5 range. And Camel and Archers counts to Arambai. I think, coming out for MBL. Yeah, Ballistics. Which yeah, there it is. will be very, very nice in these engagements. Because if you know anything about Arambai, you know that they never freaking hit what they shoot at. And the Camel Archers will, so... Yeah, well, MBL has good numbers. MBL's not that far behind with economy. He's going to build two towers on that gold because Tato's going to try and push that. Tato has the stone for another castle. So you got to think that's going to be aggressive, seeing as he has one at home. But where will he put it? Oh, small Arambai raid in MBL's base. A couple villagers going down. And he's probably going to lose one or two more before he's able to deal with this one. Tato's got to pay attention on the front side, though. MBL's coming in. He's losing a lot of Arambai here. Now with ballistics, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is when camel archers can finish off a game. Darkness because they snowball. have the ballistics and the Arambai don't. They also have the additional range and they counter the unit. So there's so many pluses. MBL's base is not pretty, but hey, he's going to clear up the Arambai in his base with just the towers. Multiple TCs. He has the army advantage now. You know MBL loves an army like this too. That's like really mobile, responsive. You can snipe units, micro to your heart's content. Like I'm sure he's having a he's having a mildly good time with these camel archers. <laughs> yeah, I I love the camel archers myself too. I've been playing with them and they're so fun. Probably because they're strong. <laughs> uh, they might need to be nerfed at some point, but at least for now. Very mobile, very strong unit. Forcing Tato in the Monks, which is not ideal versus many ranged units with that amount of speed. So another castle coming down from Tato in a strange sp strange spot, actually. I can't oh, speak yeah. today. At the, the far right of the map. I guess he just wants to secure his area from these well, raids. He, he does need to secure it. The Camel Archers are in on the left. He's lost all of his monks, only getting one conversion. I think that Tato's scouting has been off this game a bit. Uh, he could have scouted that gold next to his castle. Had he seen that, just to tile off, he could have built the castle further forward and protected the wood and the gold. I think this is MBL's game now. He is I dictating exactly what happens now. Like, Tato doesn't have an army to pressure him. He's got these castles that are somewhat annoying and near MBL's, MBL's main base and towers and whatnot, but he's got no military harassing MBL right now, and MBL is just going balls deep with these uh, with these camel archers in Tato's base right now. He doesn't even care. And it's not necessarily the Vil count at this point because Tato has 25 idols. So MBL definitely has the stronger economy. What's crazy is that he was able to hold in the situation where his second TC had to be in the middle of the map. And actually, Tato's going to spot that just now. <laughs> I hope MBL notices that. I guess the yeah, question is, just if, if Tato is able to hold on and get a castle on the left side, you see he has villagers there on stone. He knows MBL has a TC there, so he can mm. castle that. And then he can pu push on the right side with his Arambai or whatever else he wants to make. There is a possibility here that Tato could win off his map control. But MBL is having fun with the Camel Archers, probably committing a, too, a little bit too much underneath the town center. He's killing a lot of Vils though, dude. Like, Tato is producing from, what, four TCs? Three TCs? Yep. He doesn't have and the resources he just to make... he can't keep up. He's, he's gonna make towers. You see the towers going up next to his town centers, and the one tower is not protecting his wood line. MBL moving again on the left. MBL loves to do this with Camel Archers. I saw Doubt doing this to Nikov in a position where Nikov had a huge Ethiopian army. But as you know, Ethiopians mainly go for Arbalest and Halb and Siege. So Doubt just kept running around the main army and killing the economy, and he ended up winning. I think that's so the best strategy. Tato's out of stone near MBL's base. We were talking about a castle. He's out of stone there, and he's only got 345 and not anywhere near enough gold to buy extra stone. 
So I don't think that castle is going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, and MBL right. has something garrisoned in, in his siege workshop. Rams. Okay, MBL is going for Rams. Oh, he has two separate siege workshops sending out Rams. He has one on the hill and one next to that town center. I think he he's going to try and push gone. this castle. Yeah, yeah, he needs that and it's, gold. It's exposed too. Like, what is Tato going to do if Emil sends twenty camel archers to sit right beneath that castle? The Arambi are going to die as soon as they come out. Yeah, Tato is finding the gold MBL is on. It's actually his gold. The MBL is going to lose some villagers. Tato still has a slight vill lead. But will Tato have enough to stop the castle from going down? The answer to that is no. There's nothing he can do against this many rams. And MBL's clicked up to Imp. Yeah, he's got this game. He's got this game for sure. He's got three separate armies of camel archers on different spots in the map. Tato's trying to defend against these rams with Arambai, but like I said, they're just getting they're getting hit as soon as they come out. Well played from MBL to get to this position. I think that Tato's so far away from Imp, he might just call the GG then, but tell you what, I did not expect MBL to be in this position when we were watching that tower rush happen earlier where he lost both wood lines. That's incredible. Sending his vills out to such a ballsy position and Tato not finding it is just... That changed the game completely. Like getting that second TC down, he really needed that and a safe spot for his villagers. Yeah, Tato's finally going to lose the tower on that wood line. Uh, Tato's hoping that he can raid MBL to death now, and he has the Arambai on MBL's wood line. MBL's down 30 villagers, but he will have the Imperial Age upgrade, and he has the better unit composition. Don't know if Tato can raid this one to victory with what MBL has. There's a few areas that have very exposed villagers for Tato, and he's just lucky that MBL hasn't found them as of yet. There's like 20 villagers that are in extremely exposed positions. Yeah. Where if camel archers happen to get there, the vill count's gonna... Like, the vill lead's just gonna evaporate if that happens. I mean, at this stage, MBL just needs to research capped ram and bracer, so his camel archers are a bit stronger and rams are too. And then he can push, and I don't think there's much. Well, Tato, you know what, Dave? We might, we might still have a game. Tato is closer to Imp, and he has Maganels, and it, he's definitely going to go Onager, and he's going to click Imp. He's got five TCs too. Like he's done a really good job to boom up during all of this, and to keep booming. It's we'll just see. whether MBL can take out. I, I think if that forward castle goes down for Tato. I think it, it might be might be the GG, but we'll see if he can hold on to that. He does have three Magnels, four now, fourth in the in the siege workshop coming. Yeah, I, I don't think the castle will go down because he already saw one go down. And he knows how to prepare for that, so at least keep Ooh. the castle up. But he needs to tech switch away from Arambai, that's for sure. Why'd you say, oh? <laughs> I thought that was uh, not a siege workshop. I thought that was a castle right by oh, MBL's Oh, okay, got it. And then I was like, maybe I should just tone down on the ooh. <laughs> Don't explain myself. <laughs> I was watching Tato play the other day, and he's like, oh, I'm going to deny this town center. And then he had to run away because the enemy army showed up. And then he ran back to try and kill some villagers on the wood line next to the town center. And it went up and it was a castle he's like what because he i thought that was a town center going up i didn't even think that would be a castle can i just say that mbl is trying to take his main gold and i was thinking like oh he's fine because he has his main gold hasn't even built a mining area yet oh yeah and he tato's towered his other gold which was is a great tower to be honest which other gold the There's one so, that oh. the one that was Tato's that MBL's <laughs> taking right. Now. Okay, well the game's pretty close now. I think the, the score might be a little oh, bit deceiving. All those Megan because... shots. He's taking out all the ramps for free. That's what I'm talking about. Tato will be an imp soon, and he has enough TCs and enough villagers where I think he can hold on, assuming he can figure out how to deal with these camel archers. This has become a really good game. Onager on the way. No surprise there. MBL is going to probably go for some raiding, uh, adding him to the light cap, and also the light cap will be fantastic to pick off onagers if he can get close enough to him. See if Tato can hold next to the camel archer army of MBL. 
There's four capped rams. Is camel archer worth the upgrade? Does it cost a lot? Oh, and no! MBL's running right into the pikemen from Tato. Oh, Lord. Right into the pikemen. Oh, jeez. That mean, was a bad it, engagement. It's always worth it, I think, to get elite. It's similar to Mangadai. I think a thousand-ish food, eight, seven to eight hundred gold. Always worth it, because they're still very strong and they can pick off Siege. And that's what MBL is trying to do now. But that was rough for him. He did take out the TC, at least. He did, and he killed... But... He killed one Mangonel at the cost of half like, his what, army. 10, 10 camel archers and God knows how many other hits on these remaining ones. Like I don't, I don't think that was a worthwhile trade, but we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'm trying to look at gold spots. We know MBL has that one gold spot next to Tato, but he's only one villager there. There's a gold spot for MBL that Tato had previously in the left corner, and then Tato is TCing the gold spot. He just lost the town center on. I think that's it for gold. Oh, MBL has one in the top right corner too. Good scouting to find that. I think that's it for remaining gold spots. Yeah, and Tanto is really strapped for gold here. So he's going to have to go... He's he's only got that one pile left, I think, now. Like, yep. he's going to have to go for a budget, budget military against <laughs> these camel archers. So maybe not... Maybe not looking great for him, and MBL thrives on these games where he's fighting on, like, three fronts at once. Yeah, he does. Really enjoys them. I think MBL is the best player when it comes to no gold left on the map. Yep. I've seen MBL win so many games where he just starved wood from the opponent, so his opponent couldn't make farms and buildings and trash. But right now, it's all about map control. He knows that TC he has that's forward needs to be secured, and Tato probably wants it. So he has military there. And if he holds that town center, he will also hold the one in that right corner. So that's two gold piles for free for him. And Tato Why with Cap Ram. Let's see what he can afford. Well, he went light cav and capped ram first, and now he's getting bow saw and heavy plow, the castle of eco upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's also an MBL move for you. <laughs> he's, he's been watching too many of my videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, at least he didn't get a horse collar at 47 minutes, right? Hey. <laughs> Better than 48. Judge. Judge. This is my safe space, this stream. <laughs> Well, MBL has 50 military versus the 22 of Tato, and now MBL's building Bombard Cannons on the front. That's a great move when there are onagers out. And Tato's if just going to call the GG. Yep. Sees the Bombard Cannons, knows he can't kill them because those Camel Archers are just wandering around there. And on the front side, losing his uh, onagers. Sorry, the top side. Yeah. Those light caps, so. Well, well done from MBL. MBL. Yeah. Seriously, I, you know, in the back of my mind was thinking, I don't see how he can win this game. He's going to lose both wood lines to the towers. He didn't have his main goal. Uh, he threw away seven villagers in the middle of nowhere, where those houses are now. But he found a way, and great victory for him. I have to think, if the sieves were different, Dave, if oh, Emil was, was in that position, one. yeah. Because if he had Burmese, he would have had Arambai, and Tato would have won every fight, so... It's just good that MBL happened to have the better unique unit. But, I mean, the game before MBL, it was a Civ win for Tato. Yeah, of course. So, like, karma, you know, is the thing. Yeah, I think they're trying out the Civs, and once they have a good understanding on these Civs, they'll know what they want to pick in certain situations. Like, I would always pick the Berbers over the Burmese in a 1v1 now, because... I know that the Camel Archers are so dominant in the Castle Age, and Arambai are pretty much cancelled out. Uh, Incas, we know that Incas have to be very aggressive early on, based off last game, so this is good knowledge for us. There's the military stats for you all on the stream. Food, wood, gold, and uh, stone collected. Technology stats too. And Vilhai is fairly similar. MBO ended up getting three relics in the end, but didn't really have time to pay off. And a great game. So shout out to a couple people. We were casting the game and we're going to cast another one. Looking out the window today. Thank you for subscribing. 